I'm going to show you guys how to aim the uh, projectile launcher system in Cyberpunk 2077. So if any of you have used this uh, cyberware, you might have noticed that aiming it feels like it doesn't make any sense at all. Also, I want to say that I th I'm pretty sure it says you need smart link for it. So I went and grabbed the smart link and as far as I can tell, it literally did not change anything. So um, if you guys had a different experience, comment please, but I, the smart link did not seem to affect how it works literally at all. So um, the way you want to aim with this thing is uh, it, it, like whether you have the smart projectile on or not, it aims as if you have smart projectile. So if there are these two people and I aim in between both of them, Whoever, oh, actually, it's really complicated. So, uh, it like it'll go to technically who is closer to center, and so like because this guy is closer to me, if I aim perfectly between them, it should and doesn't always, but it should hit him because he's closer, and that actually means that when I'm aiming between them visually. I'm actually closer to him because he's closer to me. If I'm perfectly sideways to them, then I shoot in the middle. It's anyone's guess who it'll hit. So you can take advantage of that in order to hit whatever target you want to hit. So if there are two people on top of each other, like if there's this guy and there's someone standing literally beside him and you want to hit the guy on the right, then you want to get uh, the crosshair to be like on him but off to the side of him. Because in reality, it is shooting a smart projectile, even though you can't see it. So if you aim to the right of him, but with him in the crosshairs, the projectile will go forward and turn, like, curve left towards whatever target it can hit. So and if you want to aim to the right, you want to, I mean, if you want to aim, hit the guy on the, on the left, I mean, then you do the same thing on the left, and the, the bullet will curve in to hit them. You can also do the same thing sometimes where you aim above a target to get like over a wall and be able to hit like someone's head, for example. Uh, really quick, I'll take these guys out and see how this goes. So that hit, this one's pretty straightforward. These guys aren't hard to hit. Sometimes this thing will just straight up not hit people, especially if they're moving. Uh, I think I accidentally got rid of that guy, but uh, let's just let's, let's just try it on the next group. So. Over here, uh, like in this situation, if I aim on this guy, it probably, it might hit him, but it might just go for her because she's closer to me. So like, even though I'm technically aimed on him, uh, she's closer. So it, it, like technically I'm aiming, the way the smart bullet works, it wants to go to the closest target. So it's like, if I, if I want to no matter what hit this guy, I would aim like this all the way over here. And then the bullet, if like the bullet, if it curves, can only hit one thing. Uh, so, uh, and if you go really far, God knows what the bullet will do. It might go for him, might go for that person. It might just go for a pedestrian. It, it tends to go for hostile targets whenever you shoot. So, uh, but it will go for pedestrians. Like if I, here, let me take these guys out real fast. So like, let's see if I this works the way I'm hoping here, the way it normally works. So if I aim like this, it shouldn't matter what hit that guy, but it's not always guaranteed. This, this weapon is a little finicky. Yeah, there we go. And then same thing. I can do the same thing over here. I can aim to the left of her and hit her. Uh, this guy, I mean, I'm obviously well hitting dead center. And then I need to finish. You see right there? You see what I mean? I aimed right there, and it finished her because she was closer. Just like I was saying. Okay. Uh, example of things you don't want to do. So down this hallway, I don't know if I can actually see them. They might be dead, actually, but there was an enemy. Oh, no, I think there is. I think I see an enemy down there. There's technically an enemy there. If I aim like this and I shoot at that enemy, first off, I think he's out of range. But even if he's not out of range, uh, he's so far, and this pedestrian is so close, and this pedestrian is so close, there's a pretty strong chance it will just go for the pedestrian. Also, if you're out of range and I just aim up here, uh, since they're out of range, it's, it do, you can aim here and it'll still curve and hit the stupid pedestrian. It's crazy. Oh my god, where did that go? Okay. Uh, now we're going to go to another example. So over here, these guys are on this wall. If I shoot at them, it hits the wall. But you might be able to land a shot if you aim like this because the bullet curves. So if I shoot like that, okay, it couldn't quite curve to meet that. 
There you go. You can hit him like over the wall. Because if you aim to the right, you have to remember, it is a smart projectile. So if you can, like, manage the curve, then you can land a shot you wouldn't otherwise be able to land. Uh, so that also helps to aim it. Uh, it does seem buggy in that uh, moving targets, as far as I can tell, are pretty much impossible to hit. If a target's moving rapidly, it is. I've, I don't think I've ever hit one. Just, like, no matter what you do, even if they're running a straight line at you, can't they? Just, it just won't work. And sometimes, even if they're standing still, it may just explode on them and not do anything. Over and over and over and over again. Uh, also, they want to show the speed sheet. If you want to do the speed sheet, uh, browse the YouTube. Uh, maybe I'll remember to link it, but it's such a side note. Did I just crash my game? Oh, thank God. I'm in the middle of making a video. That would have been awful. So, uh, in this situation, if I want to hit that guy to the right, I'm going to have to aim like over like this. Or else, it'll no matter what hit this guy. Even then, I might not be able to hit him, but we can try. Okay. I went too far. Didn't hit anything. Got to be careful of that. Take this person out real fast and we'll continue. Uh, I'm just gonna, now at this point, I think you probably understand uh, how the aiming works. I hope you do at this point. So uh, I'm just gonna kill a few more groups of enemies real fast and you can just watch in action and see for yourself what I mean and hopefully you get it by now. One last explanation. So these guys right here, they, I cannot hit over the armrest of the couch. I should normally, maybe I'll, no, you see what I mean? Like you literally can hit him over the armrest of the couch. Aim up here, the bullet will curve down and then you can hit him. All right, now I'm just gonna go through here and kill a few groups of enemies while you guys watch, just to give you one last uh, look at how this works. And maybe it'll help you understand if you just watch me do it as fast as I can without, you know, having to explain anymore. Also, uh, check out the video. I don't think I don't know if I post it yet, but it'll be posted tomorrow probably. Uh, it'll be I don't know, it'll be posted soon, sometime around the same time as this video. Uh, there's I made a video explaining uh, using this. If you noticed, I'm just one-shotting these guys. Uh, I made a video explaining where to get everything in order to do that. So if you want to be able to do what I'm doing right here, where I just one-tap everything. Uh, I'm, I'm, I made a video and it should be it should go up before or after this video But one of like but really shortly before or really shortly after it's right in the same group or series of uh, Videos that I'm making so yeah, there you go. That is how to aim the uh, projectile launcher system In case you were wondering how to pick off specific targets or why it just won't do anything uh, it's, just, it's just a smart bullet. It literally just travels like a smart bullet so uh hopefully now you know how to aim the projectile launcher system in cyberpunk 2077 if this video helped you consider helping us by subscribing to our channel tap this button over here and hit the red subscribe button subscriptions help a lot even if you never watch our videos again. Ha 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 ha!